everyone. It's Jean from the Inky Owl Studio. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for um, your support, which I so, so appreciate. I know I've been away for uh, about a week. I've uh, been a little under the weather, but I am getting back into the groove. And today I wanted to start out this week with just showing you a very easy peasy little ephemera holder. Uh, perfect for, you know, either happy mail or you want to include uh, some ephemera with your journal or um, you could just use this as uh, anything, anything that you want to stuff into these little pockets and send or give away or even keep. So this is so easy. I mean, 15 minutes, you should have this all done. And you can just use the scraps from the project you're working on. Um, perfect for that as well. All you're going to need is an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Um, this is about 30 inches of ribbon, which is, which is optional because obviously this didn't have ribbon, so it still works great, but I'm putting in some ribbon. And of course your scrap paper, your uh, scrapbook paper, scissors, glue, and I am using a scoreboard. But of course you could use a ruler and uh, score it your, uh, another way. But we will just use this because it just makes it fast. So first of all you're going to take your um, the long side, the 11 inch side, and put it up against the board. You're going to score at three and a half all the way down and just one eighth of an inch over, which would be three and five eighths. We're going to do that way. You're going to rotate your paper around again with the 11 inch above, come down three and a half, and again three and five eighths, just to eighth of an inch over from that place. Now you're going to take the short end, it doesn't matter which one, but the eight and a half inch and put it up against your board. And you're going to score it two and a half all the way down. All right, so that's pretty easy peasy. I would then uh, recommend doing some folding and getting it folded over and it's a little little fiddly to get that little tiny eighth of an inch but you can do it just like so now I'm putting in these little tiny spines because when you start putting in um, filling up the pockets it's going to take up some room and this just sort of helps to Oh, this is a little bit more stubborn than the other one was. Okay, there we go. It just helps for it to wrap around it a little bit easier. And then we'll do one more fold down here. Now, uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut out between these two little fold lines, these score lines. And you're going to need to cut just like a teeny weeny bit on the outside of each one up to the first to that um, horizontal score line so we're cutting right along from there and then I'm going to turn it around this way because I can see it better so we're just cutting just a wee bit outside of the score line and this will help the pockets to um, not run into each other when you fold them. When you fold the um, tag around, they won't get caught up on the, the fold. All right, so that's very cute. And so now if you want to ink around it, now would be the time to do it. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, of course, inking will add time to your creation. And really, I think think for the most part you can totally skip it. The only reason I wanted to do this is because the kit that I am making my next uh, Traveler's Notebook journal from is uh, very pastel and light and I kind of felt like it just needed a little bit of oomph behind it. So that's the only reason that I went ahead and inked it. Um, 
Another thing you could do, you could make this out of double-sided, a heavy weight, double-sided scrapbook paper. You could, you could do it. Um, and that way you would have nothing to do but just to glue and fold and you're all done, right? So that's an idea you may want to think about. Um, and also another idea you may want to consider in the future is instead of inking with vintage photo or a um, brown ink, uh, it's sometimes it's fun to use a color. So here I've used a uh, purple that, uh, or a lavender of uh, sorts or purple that kind of like goes a little bit with the kit that I'm using. So it, it's kind of fun, you know, sometimes just to use a color. So then you can decide how you want your flaps to go. All right, I am putting all three this time up on the inside. Um, however, on the prototype I made, I made a pocket here and put um, two up and one up over here. Um, so I'm just changing it up just a little tiny bit, you know, just a tiny bit, making it easy peasy, even easier than the prototype was. So um, now we're going to cut the papers and the papers, I have the measurements for the papers and you will need four sheets and I'll hold this up and you can probably pause and maybe write it down. Um, these are the measurements and how many you need of each measurement. So the first two are for the uh, large large sections and these smaller ones are for the pockets that fold up. Now you could, um, those measurements are showing you um, putting in, gluing it all the way to the bottom. You could definitely size up like I did here. You can size up your paper and only cut it to that far because you won't see the rest of it in your pocket and I just mentioned that in case you're using scraps you know it really would take a smaller scrap to, to do the pocket um, panels than it would to do the full panels just so I point that out to you so what I'm going to do next here is I am going to glue on the ribbon just because when I get started gluing, uh, I have been known just to keep gluing and forget all about this. <laughs> so I am just going to put that on right now. Get that in half, put that down here. Oh, actually, it's not going to be, it's going to be more like that. Okay. Yeah, you want this side to be a little longer than this side. If you want to put the tie along the side there. So that's all down and we will go ahead and glue down the back portion over that. Now I'm not going to glue every single one on camera. I just thought I would show you a couple of them. And we'll just put that down there. Very nice. Very nice. And so this could be written on if you want to write on that as well. And then inside here, I'll show you what I mean. Um, here, let's see, where is my inside pocket one? Here she is. So this is my inside pocket, so it doesn't have to go all the way down. And All right, just so that you can see there. So let me finish gluing these two in. Oh, alrighty, so I've glued on all of the papers throughout here. And all I'm gonna do to make the pockets with is just simply put a, lot, a little tiny bead of glue up each side like so. Close to the edge. I usually put a little dot there at the front. So there, we can put that pocket down. Now, if you wanted to, you could uh, punch in a thumb notch uh, as well, if that's how you'd like yours to look. You can do that now, just like so. 
There, and we'll just do this one here. And you can, of course, fold the pockets up any way you want. There we go, cute. So on this one here, on this side, you could put a pocket in, or I am going to do something a little different. I am mounting some paper onto some additional cardstock, and I'm going to put a tuck spot going up. You could also put one down the side and put a tuck spot inside there. That's probably the simplest way to um, embellish this plain uh, side there. You definitely see the scrap. Um, this is even scrap cardstock. So yeah, this is a great scrap buster. So we're going to do the three sides right up along there and glue this in right like so. Okay, so now we have, um, okay, gotta go over just a little bit more. There we go. We have a little tuck spot that we can use to tuck things up with. So there you be. How quick and easy is that? And you can decorate the front. Uh, I'll probably put a little bit of lace down here or something uh, to embellish it. But yes, it is just all ready to go. Very easy. Um, yeah, take you maybe 15 minutes to put together especially if you don't ink it, less than that if you use <laughs> double-sided scrapbook paper. So hope you enjoyed that little tiny tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be back again next time. I'm going to still, I'm still working on the upholstery fabric uh, journal and uh, we'll have one more video on that. So thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you later. Oh, if you missed, if you missed part one and part two, of this i'll put that down below in the description box we'll talk to you later bye